Hi, Lars Christensen here, part of Autodesk marketing team. Let's do a quick Inventor tip. Let's talk about something that got enhanced in Inventor 2015 and was brought up on the new inventorhub.autodesk.com page. If you haven't checked that out, you need to. I'll give you the link at the end of this video. What we're going to talk about is Assembly Express Mode. Now, we are going to talk numbers and what actually a large assembly is. But before we do that, let's just jump into Inventor. So when you are an inventor, have you ever seen this opening express right in the middle of the screen? Now express mode means that inventor is helping reducing file opening time when encountering a certain number of parts in your assembly. I'm going to show you how you can adjust that. You will also see up on the assembly toolbar that you have the option to load the full assembly if you want to. However, one of the enhancements for 2015 is that our developers added some functionalities to this express mode that is really cool. So I can go over here and to this sub assembly within our assembly, I can right click and hit edit. And you will see that though that I'm still in express mode, I'm kind of like going one level down to that sub assembly. Now, if I right click and hit edit again, I'm going down another level in this assembly, still in this express mode. And you will see how the feature tree keeps on updating. So I'm going to right click and hit edit again, one more time. And now you will see that we're actually down to a part level. Okay. So when we now see the part, well, that means that right click edit. And now we're actually adding the part right inside of this express mode. So we literally just walked all the way down to the part level. And now I can actually just click and open up a sketch. So let me just uh, sketch a circle here and apply a couple of dimensions. We always got to remember to fully define those sketches, right? And when I hit finish sketch, you will actually see that I have my sheet metal toolbar where I can do the cut right through here. So pretty neat inside of uh, of this express mode that we have the fully uh, capability to do this. Also something like patterning work right in here. So I can actually go over and pattern this uh, hole we just cut uh, along an edge. So pretty powerful. Now, to get out of this, um, you will see that we have the return uh, up on the toolbar. But if you click the little black arrow, you will actually see that we can go all the way back to the top. Nothing uh, like being a little bit lazy when you're working with CAD, right? So that will take us all the way back to where we were before. I think that this is really cool when you got to make some quick edits to a big assembly, doing everything right inside of the express mode. Now, how do you control this express mode? You can actually go up to tools and then go into application settings. And over here on the assembly tab, you will see that down in the bottom, there is a um, setting where you can control, um, first of all, enable it, and then also how many components uh, that um, it's going to control when Inventor will jump into this express mode. Now, I said earlier that talking about what a large assembly is, well, you know, some for some people, a large assembly is 15 components, but I mean, large assemblies can be up to, geez, 10,000 components, right? So you really got to do this depending on how it really fits in for you. It could be uh, your hardware, um, but also just your day-to-day -day workflow. So playing around with this number, um, you know, and, and find out what really uh, works for you. Now, there's one other way that you can control uh, express mode, and that is actually when you go in to uh, open up a file. So if you go in and you say file open down here in the options, you can control if you want to turn this on or off when it comes to to the big assembly. So, hey, I hope you found this helpful. I hope that, um, you know, playing around with this will, um, you know, make your life easier. Last thing I wanted to show before jumping out of here was that inventor hub. You definitely got to check this uh, place out. It is inventor hub.autodesk.com. So go there, be part of the commu awesome community. And until the next time, take care.